In our last video, we learned about uh, giving a, uh, a reference to a function, and we saw that uh, that this uh, this function here it takes uh, it takes a reference to a string, and that means that it will not take the value, it will not take ownership, it'll just look at it. And then uh, we also we took the string and we gave it a reference and gave it a reference to look at. And you might wonder, you know, why uh, why do I need to write it? two times like here is um, here's a well it says here that it takes a reference to a string so why can't Russ just figure it out why can't I just uh, write country and then it knows that it's a reference and we're going to learn that uh, pretty shortly but first we're going to look at uh, mutable references in functions and then it'll it'll move into that next subject and uh, to do that I have a uh, small example with a, uh, a function called add hungry and this is going to actually it should be uh, print and add hungry or add and print hungry anyway there we go so the way this works is it takes a country name and uh, you know a string well we don't want a string and we don't want a uh, reference to a string because we want to add to it so it's a mute string there we go and uh, it's going to print it and it's not returning anything so we don't need anything there and what we do is we take country name and we use this uh, this function called push stir and push stir is pretty simple you take a string and you push a stir on it. So just, uh, you know, anything, anything you want. And uh, this will push hyphen hungry onto it. And then, uh, then it'll say print line. Now it says, there we go, country name. And then down here in main, we, uh, we make a uh, country and this is of course mutable because we're going to push a stir onto it and string from and this country is called Austria and then we're going to do uh, add and print Hungary and we give it a mute country so you also have to give it a mutable reference this matches this and there you go now it says Austria Hungary which is uh, another country and so uh so this is interesting because um to conclude there we are so the difference between the three uh types of functions is uh you know if you have just like a string it'll own it uh if you have a reference to a string it'll look at it and then a uh a mutable reference can uh can look at it and then change it so it can do both things. Now, uh, the last example is probably the most interesting one. And here's how it works. Let's say, uh, and this will explain why you need to give uh, a mutable reference, even though uh, you might wonder why can't Russ just figure it out. So we'll call this uh, ads hungry. Hungary. And this time, mute country string so this is interesting note that this is not a uh, uh, it's not a ref mute it's a uh, it's a mute and then what this will do is it'll take country push stir and it'll do the same thing it'll add hyphen hungry and then it'll print it out uh, let's see there we go country and then off here in main, we have uh, let country equals uh, string from, and same as before, string from Austria, and adds Hungary country. Now this is interesting because look, country is not mutable, and this is not taking a mutable reference, it's taking country and says country is mutable. So is that going to work? And the answer, hold on, uh, adds hungry. Oh, there we go. Hungry. There we go. 
And the answer is it does work. And that might seem really weird, but uh, this has to do with ownership too. So country, you can see it's not mutable uh, and it's a string. And then what we do is we give it to ads hungry. So ads hungry is now the full 100% owner of this data and country does not touch it at all. So actually you can take, um, it's fine to declare it as mutable. We're actually saying this data is, uh, we want it as mutable and it's 100% ours. So this is actually okay. And that's, uh, that's really interesting. Uh, so it's not a mutable reference. So it's not that, and it's not that. It is full ownership, and it's just saying, I want this to be mutable, and that is actually okay in Rust because uh, this is the, the full owner, and you can do literally anything you want to it. So you can declare it as mutable, and that's fine.